Hi, Sweetha. Hi, Reba. Thank you for being here today. Hi. Hi. Um, I just wanted to talk to both of you about what the referral process looks like in the Cheeky Scientist Association. I think getting a referral is still something that's very foreign to a lot of PhDs. Um, so I wanted to uh, ask you a couple of questions about it. But I thought maybe we could start with both of you uh, introducing yourselves and the company uh, and position uh, that you're currently in. And I'll start with you, uh, Reba. Hi, I'm Reba Castile. I'm an evidence evaluation specialist with Smith & Nephew. Perfect, thank you. Welcome again. And uh, Smitha, you're up. Hi, um, I'm also, I'm Shweta Arikatla, and I'm also an evidence evaluation specialist at Smith & Nephew. Great, so uh, we just, we all just realized watching this that you're both the same company, right? You're both mm -hmm. the same position. Um, I, again, I think it's something very strange to a lot of PhDs, how referrals happen, especially why you would help somebody get a job at the same company or in the same position. Uh, so maybe we can just start with you, Sweetha. How did you find out about this role initially? So I saw this position on CSA. Um, I noticed that Reba posted it on CSA, and until then I had no idea about that company. So that, uh, that's how I got to know about the company and the job as well. So when you say you posted in CSA, she posted it in the private group that there was a job opening at her company, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in Cheeky Scientist, there's private groups where jobs can be posted. Reba, why would you post this job? Was it your job to post jobs or was there another reason? Our team had an opening and Cheeky's full of active PhDs looking for new positions. It's a great resource for companies too. Yeah, and I think that's something that is again, if you're a PhD looking for a job, you're always thinking, why would a, somebody working at a company want to post a job, right? And so can you just say a little bit more about that? Like, how important is, it's called, you know, talent acquisition or hiring to a company now that you're on the other side of things? It's extremely important. They have a big push for it. And from a personal aspect, they give you bonuses when you do bring on talent to the team and things. Absolutely. And I, I think that's important because, again, we think, why would this person help me? I mean, first of all, it looks great for a company if you recommend somebody and they get hired. That alone is, a, is an important factor. Um, but at the same time, there might be a personal incentive. Mo a lot of companies, most companies have an employee referral program where they will give a, a bonus of sorts to the employee if they bring on somebody else. So that's clearly what happened um, at, a, at a high level. I want to drill in a little bit more. So, sweet that you saw the job. Were you immediately interested or did you have questions? What happened next? So I did have questions. So I wanted to talk to Reba. So I reached out to Reba and asked for an informational interview. And I had multiple questions. So before I reach out to anyone uh, for an informational interview, I do my background research. Mm -hmm. So I uh, looked at the job posting, looked a little bit, um, uh, you know, researched a little bit about the company. And then I asked specific questions. So what are these CERs and what do you guys do because these are not um, something that are you know that everyone knows about like clinical evaluation reports so I had a lot of questions and there were so many things that I didn't know and I was surprised to know from Reba and I did have a little bit I did have my questions I mean I and concerns whether I would be a fit for this position uh, so but then so I took a little bit of time um, before I reached out again to Reba saying that, you know, hey, I would like to apply to this position. Can you please refer me? Yeah. yeah. So and yes. The, so what these are called is you basically had, you set up informational interviews, whether it was mm -hmm. by email or message or phone to find out more about the position from Reba who was in the position, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what did this look like on your end, Reba, when she was reaching out? Was it, was it annoying or were you happy to do it? But maybe from your point of view, you could talk a little bit about it. We had a great interaction. She was very prepared. She asked very good questions. When she sent her resume, it was nice, polished, professional looking. I mean, everything interacting with her was like on par and top notch. That's great. Well, that's Thank good. Thank you. <laughs> that's a, that's a good job. Uh, so I want to close with just asking about that final piece, right? So we talk about, you know, you learn about a position, you set up an informational interview, um, you both added value to each other at this point. What did it look like to get that referral? So you asked for the referral. What did mm -hmm. you say and how did, how did the actual referral process happen? So I uh, reached out to Reba asking if she would be okay with referring me and then she did. So my resume was polished and I was doing similar kind of work in my previous company. So I tailored it according to this 
job position. And as soon as I sent it over to her, she referred me to the director. And the re- director could see that, you know, I was doing something more intense than, you know, what they do uh, in, a, in a scientific way. Not, you know, not that this job is less intense, but, you know, so she could see that, you know, I have relevant experience. So she immediately asked me to apply online. So we had um, a couple of emails that were exchanged. And um, immediately I got an interview from the HR person and also the hiring manager. Perfect. And so I, I just think that's important, you know, to talk about that sequence because most of us as PhDs don't realize that you will get you will get in touch with somebody who could be a referral first. You'll mm-hmm. have informational interviews. You'll get a referral, and then you'll apply online, which is very backwards to how a lot of PhDs think. They think it's true. true. So I think that was an important point that you made, and then um, then you got then the actual interview process started. Last question for you, Reba. What did that look like on your end as far as the, the reference, like why were you okay with referring her at that point? And then what did you actually have to do to make it an official referral? Well, the biggest thing I saw after I posted um, in the cheeky thing, I got two very different groups of people. I got the people that had polished resumes and very good questions. So you could tell that they researched the company, did their homework. And then I had the people that were like, oh, there's a job posting. I want to apply, but knew nothing about the company didn't even really know it was a writing position and the resume wasn't where it needed to be. So looking at Swetha's um, resume and things, it was easy to refer because she had experience. It was polished. It matched the job description. It it looked great. So it was easy to walk into my boss's office and be like, Hey, I know somebody that would be a great fit for this position. She's got relevant experience and I think she would fit well on the team. Great. And I handed her the resume. She looked at it and she was like, get in touch with her and tell her to apply online. Yeah. Perfect. And I think that's a, that's a final important piece, a referral. Some companies can be very formal, like you have to go through an online process, even the employee does. But in many cases, it's just walking into an office and saying, hey, look at this resume. I think this person's perfect. That is the word of mouth that they're looking for, right? They want that somebody to vouch for a candidate before they're going to you know, put in all that investment to interview them more formally. So uh, thank you both very much. I appreciate you being on and explaining this and kind of demystifying it uh, for everyone. Congratulations to both of you and I look forward to watching your continued career success. Thank you. Thank you.